Titan Talk Tuesdays in full effect. I appreciate you guys all joining me in, man. I'm a little bit underneath the weather. That's why I'm at home. And I probably sound a little raspy to you guys. So I do apologize on the front, but I got a great show for you guys. As usual, going to all the great things that Titan Medical Center has to offer for you guys. I'm going to be talking about some cool subjects today. Obviously, we'll start off with our therapy of the week. If you guys have any questions for me on possibly what would be better for your weight loss program or hormones or anything we offer or you're kind of looking for, please just shout it out on here. I'd be happy to answer your questions live for you guys so we can educate people out there and let people know what we do and how we can really help them. And maybe you'll bring up some point that I don't or I forgot to bring up that maybe helps somebody else is out there. So big shout out to everybody who's joining me in. Fro Robinson, Mr. Jabron, uh, Art, 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 Art. <laughs> Art Ear to Fex. What's going on? Marcody181, what's up? Mytron, what's going on? UK in the house. Mikey Mike, SM Sabrina. Exotica, baby, what's going on? How you doing? I hope all is well with you guys. Uh, Belos, what's going on? Beast, how you doing? All right, so let's get started with the show. So if you guys don't know what we do, let me start off real quick and just get into that. So we service nationwide for hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, peptide therapies, nationwide blood work for everything you can possibly think of, and a lot, lot more. So if you guys are looking for anything in those realms or you have questions about those things, maybe looking at Titan or somewhere else, and you have questions about these things, shoot them out to me. We'll go over them all the way through and through with you guys right here on live. I appreciate all you guys. Pearly Cupcake, how you doing? Uh, Maniac or Mike, how you doing? Ash Train, Tadeo 2.0, how you doing? All right, so let's get into Titan Complete. So Titan Complete is the therapy of the week. Titan Complete is a vitamin amino acid injectable therapy that's very, very popular at Titan Medical Center. It's one that I do every day. It's got a lot of great things in it that are going to help you out with a lot of different things. So when we talk about weight loss, right? We can talk about MYC, methionine, and acetylcholine. These are three components that are in Titan Complete right away. They help detoxify the liver and help you process fats faster through the liver. Um, after that, when we talk about B complex and B vitamins like B12, um, this is a wide range of, of various things that these things will help you out with. So when we talk about these things, we talk about um, you know, hair, skin, nails, nervous system, metabolism, all these different things, B vitamins help our bodies accomplish and help produce. Um, Booty guy said, can you talk about the differences in delivery methods available for your therapies? Absolutely. Great question. I'll definitely shout that out. So when we talk about MIC, B complex, B12, so far, this is what Titan Complete can offer you, but we have more. When we talk about branch chain amino acids, BCAAs, we talk about these essential amino acids that which your body cannot produce and you have to find from an outside source, whether it's supplementation wise or food, um, you're going to have to get these from somewhere, right? Now, food is probably the best way to get things all throughout the body. I'll never fight that argument. But do we have the right food source in place to really accomplish this for everybody out there? Probably not. For your working guy or girl out there that's working at nine to five, those food choices are usually not out there unless they prep their food, balance out their food, and exactly bring in what exactly they need day in and day out, which I'm just throwing a number out there, but I would say 70% of Americans do not do this at all. And maybe I'm being a little generous with that number. It might be uh, less than that. But I know there's a lot of people out there that are starting this um, or some people that are in the fitness lifestyle that do this day in and day out or week in and wake out. So it's a little bit easier for them, but it's harder for people that are not in a fitness lifestyle or healthy lifestyle or not been in it their whole life. And even when you are, you're busy and these things take time to do. So a lot of people don't get the food or the food sources that they need to get the necessary things that their body has to have to work optimally. After that, when we talk about these things, we're talking about leucine, isoleucine, and valine. They are the only three branched chain amino acids. These are also essential amino acids, Okay. With these branched chain amino acids, they're great for a number of different things for weight loss, um, going, not going into a, a catabolic mode as far as your body. You know, when you're going to calorie deficit, you're working really hard or building muscle, building this lean tissue back. You need the necessary things to do this. And this is one of the different things. Marcody, I'll talk about hair growth in one second. So 
the other component to this is L-carnitine. So L-carnitine is great for blood flow, for muscle gains, for a number of different things too as well. So combining all these different things in there, MYC, B-complex, B12, branched chain amino acids, and L-carnitine, you're getting a lot of different great things in there and a lot of bang for the buck off one little injectable with a little insulin needle. So if you guys don't know what an insulin needle looks like, I'm going to show you. God knows I have a lot of these. All right, so when we talk about insulin needle, we're talking about this. You see how thin that needle is? It's not very long either. It's a half inch if you think that's long, but it's not. And all you have to do is just go subcutaneously, or you can even shoot this in a muscular with some of the injections, like time complete. Um, you can do it right in the deltoid, so it can be here, here, or really any muscle group that you really want to. It's really simple and easy to do. There's no hormones in this, no other things in this that are going to be harmful for your body. All good things for the body. So when we talk about these things, it's easy to get on time complete too as well. It's real simple. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork. You just go to the website, fill it out. We're going to call you, schedule an appointment, go over your health history, family history. And then our medical providers have the consultation with you to be able to go over time and complete and talk about it in detail with you. Or you can say, listen, I'm trying to accomplish A, B, and C. What are the best things for this medical provider? What do you think is going to help me the best? And then we're going to break down those things for you. In this consultation, it's not like a 5 or 10 minute or 15 minute consultation. I've seen some of the places out there that are out there and they're, they're doing some different things as far as that goes. And, uh, you know, 5 or 10 or 15 minutes with a patient is not very long at all. Is that long enough to even review their health history, their family history, or things that they want to accomplish? Probably not. So our consultations are usually at minimum 30 minutes to an hour. Usually 45 minutes is right, the median of where they usually come out. And at that point, you know, you'll be able to talk about all these different things that you want to talk about and not get cut off or have a time limit per se, right? Um, we can really go in depth of what you're trying to accomplish. And those goals can change over time. Once you accomplish one thing, you might want to move on to the next, the month after, the month after, whatever it may be. And we can help start getting you in line to those goals of what you're trying to achieve, whether it be health or fitness related. That's the biggest thing out there. So if you guys are interested in time complete, all you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. Or if you want to do one step quicker, go to the website, tightmedicalcenter.com, fill out new patient paperwork. We'll get that automatically submitted when you do. And we'll call you up the next day or that day per se and you know, get you scheduled for a consultation. And then maybe give you some more options of what you're really looking for or looking to do. Because you don't know all the things that Titan offers or what all these things do, right? I might. You know, so the staff is going to definitely know. But you might not know. And that's okay. That's what we're here for. You're not supposed to be educated on all these different things. Even though I do tell that to patients. I'm like, listen, educate yourself. more. more the more is better, right? But look for credible sources. Everywhere you look, there's going to be good and bad, right? But what are the credible sources out there? And that's really going to lead you to this. With time complete, I don't think anybody can fight with any of the components that are in there about being unhealthy. Um, the one thing I can talk to you about is, is transportation rate. So, Booty got asked a question, or he said, hey, listen, why don't we talk about the different methods of transportation rate that we offer at Titan Medical Center? Now, we offer different transportation rates, like the injection, uh, creams, or even capsules or pills, right? But for Titan Complete, the best effect that you're going to get is going to be from the injectable version. Injectable is going to be superior to all transportation methods out there. Um, the reason I say this is because when we do an injection, we're injecting into a muscle or we're doing subcutaneous, right? This is going to get absorbed into the body faster. That means it's going to get in the bloodstream. It's going to start working faster and better for you. After that, absorbency. So we talk about absorbency. We talk about when we do an injection and going straight in, going through and passing, bypassing the liver and not putting damage or harm to it like that. Whereas when you're taking an oral supplementation, right? People talk, ah, oh, I drink BCAs all day and... You know, it's great. Well, listen, it can be toxic as far as on the liver. The liver is a filter to your body, and everything you're getting orally is passing through there. Also, the absorbency factor is not going to be as high or potent as an injection or as an, uh, an IV, per se, right? Because you're still going to take it down orally. It's got to go through the gastro tract, small intestines. It's still getting broken down. Then we get to filter through the liver. What are you really getting out of it? So then I get the argument. I, I talked about this last week where somebody said, well, I'll do three or four times the amount. What about that? Well, that's great dandy and all, but do you really want to do three or four times the amount 
of the serving size. Now you're getting three or four times the amount of fillers and all the stuff that you really might not need or might not be doing you any benefit. So it's really talking about working smarter, not harder, per se, and getting the things that you need in your body without all the BS and all the garbage. No proprietary blends, no garbage like that. You see it, it's what it's going to be in the label, it's what's going to be going into your body. And that's the biggest thing. All right, so let's talk about the next one. Um, best thing for hair growth. So we talked about this last week, Mark Cody. It was a, uh, you know, our therapies of the week. Injectable biotin is a good one along with our hair health capsules. So with that, they're talking about neti, grapeseed oil, uh, biotin is also in there too. Um, neti, grapeseed oil, biotin, and salt palmetto. That's another good one. Because when we talk about hair loss or hair thinning, especially with guys, um, when you're on testosterone replacement therapy, and this is going to lead into one of the articles I'm going to talk about today, you're talking about DHT, which is the hydrotestosterone. And we know the hydrotestosterone higher levels can shrink hair follicles, and after the hair follicles shrink so much, then they go away. Well, we don't want that, right? So with that, we want to make sure that the follicles you know, are, are growing hair, that you're keeping the hair that's there, um, and hopefully getting it thicker. So injectable biotin along with the hair health capsules are a very, very good option for hair growth. Now, the other option is the hair foam that we have, which is minoxidil, uh, it has finasteride, and it has uh, lantropost. So finasteride orally, I wouldn't recommend or I wouldn't say I would do it to anybody. You know, there are people out there that they don't care. And, you know, finasteride affects uh, a good amount of the percentage of people. I know they only say it's like 20% or 30%. But all it's people that I've talked to that take finasteride, Propecia, um, usually have this issue. It's like a male castration drug. And basically what it does is it lowers DHT levels in the body. So dihydrotestosterone, DHT, is not your enemy. It's not. Balancing it is key, though. Because if you have an unbalance and you're just pushing it in and your DHT level is going through the roof, of course, you know, you're going to have negative side effects with things. But it's a really about balancing the hormones inside your body harmonically. So everything is optimal, working properly, and balanced. You know, you can't throw things off balance. Say, you know, I go back to cars. You have one size tire on one side and one size tire on the other side. The car is going to drive wop side. It's going to wobble, right? And you don't want your body wobbling. Right? You want to run smoothly and optimally. So those three things are going to be great for hair growth. Right. All right. Uh, peptides. That was the next question. What are your thoughts on peptides? You got some, Art? Nice. Olivia, I'm pumped for you. So semi-glutide, Titan Complete, and ECAs? Wow. Now, you're really on the path of feeling optimal and for weight loss. I mean, if I was going to combine any, well, if I was going to combine three, those would be in my top. Because, you know, when you talk about semi-glutide, you're talking about weight loss. That one's a game changer all by itself. Um, you're talking about the nutrients releasing evenly throughout the body, you know, keeping blood sugar levels in check, and then curbing the hunger effect. So that's some of the biggest problems with people that when they go on, diets per se or nutrition plans they can't stick to it because they overeat or they are always hungry right well semi-glutide is really going to knock that out of the park then we talk about ecas ephedrine caffeine aspirin b12 and chromium so many different benefits from mental clarity right um we're talking about weight loss you know raising core temperature in the body too as well you know there's some good things boosting the metabolism naturally with the with the chromium and b12 that are in there so we talk about some great, great effects you're going to get from all three of those things. I'm really excited for you. Please let me know when you get it. If you have any questions, call our staff, text us. That's what we're here for. We'll never leave you guys hanging, man. I promise you that. We'll be there for you guys all the way through. And, uh, you know, I want to know how the results are going. So please tune in with me every Tuesday or every other Tuesday, whenever you can. And let me know. Hey, listen, John, everything's all good. Or if you got a question on these things, let me know. I would love to answer them and help you guys out. All right, so Marcotti said, also, what are your thoughts on peptides? Peptides are awesome. Peptides are game changers. There's a number of different peptides that do a number of different things. So we talk about weight loss peptides. We talk about AOD9604, which is another big one that I would add in there. Uh, we also talk about healing peptides, BPC157, TB500, which are healing peptides and will help with inflammation in the body, uh, joints, um, tendons, ligaments, muscles, all these different things that people usually get injured with on a daily basis, whether it's in the gym or somewhere else, you might tweak something in your wrist 
typing. I mean, it's so easy to do. It's crazy. and You never know. And that little injury can affect your workouts, your day-to-day, everything. So, you know, people, they're like, man, this sucks. Well, there is ways to get around some of these different things. And that's where BPC 157 and TB 500 really come in. Then we talk about sexual peptides. So the biggest sexual peptide that's out there is PT-141. And this is approved by the FDA for female libido enhancement. It also works on males the exact same way. And how does it work? Because everybody's like, oh, well, you know, I got Viagra, I got, you know, Cialis, and I got all these good things out here, right? Well, those are oral medications that, you know, affect um, vasodilation, blood flow, right? Uh, Where PT-141 does not work on the vascular system like these do. It actually works on the nervous system. So true libido effect, mental stimulation, right? This is a big one. Because physical stimulation, along with the sildenafil, the tenalafil, which is Viagra and Cialis, is great. But having the nervous system effect really will increase the desire effect. And, uh, you know, we do have some that, that includes sildenafil, which is Cialis, PT-141, and oxytocin, which is another bonding hormone. Excuse me, guys. Let me just blow my nose here. Sorry about that, guys. Never a day off. So, yeah, so peptides can be a definitely game changer. So how about semi-glutide and tie complete together? What kind of results? So you're going to get really good results from one or the other. Now, semi-glutide, I think you're going to get way bigger bigger results as far as weight loss. Now, natural energy and, you know, processing fats through the body faster and everything like that, that's where tie complete is really going to come into play. So, you know, taking these together is going to be really, really good as far as optimal quality of life improvement from weight loss effect and that, like I said, natural stimulation uh, and energy and, you know, and having all these other things working properly too, like I said, nervous system. So when we talk about time complete, we're not just talking about weight loss. We're talking about all the different benefits that it really has, you know, with semi-glutide, that's weight loss right there in a bottle. I, you know, I, I hate to say it like that, but it really is. It works really, really well, and that's why it's so uh, in demand that it is right now. It's crazy. Like uh, commercial brands, you know, out of stock or you know, not be able to supply, or it's getting so expensive as far as that goes. Um, you know, insurance companies not wanting to uh, approve it for all patients out there for weight loss. Only those that are you know uh, dramatically overweight. Um, or obese or hit the BMI of over 30 plus. So at that point, you know, there's different options for people out there. It's just, you know, big pharma and, and the regular general practitioners, that's not what they're looking to do. So that's why Titan Medical Center is really here for you guys to really help you guys get to the point of where you want to be result wise, physically wise, uh, you know, all the way through. The art of Frex, what's going on? Bazo C, BBC 157 is a miracle peptide. Cole Carter benches, absolutely. I don't know how many times I've used BBC 157 and still do. I've got slap tears on both shoulders. And I do take uh, cortisone every four months. But, um, you know, even sleeping, even with the cortisone, it, it, I'm really in pain. The one thing that really does help me right off the bat is BBC 157. It's definitely got me through to where I am right now. Until I get surgery, that's going to be my go-to all the way. So BBC 157 is a game changer. So, you know, even before you're going to get surgery or something like that, now, I'm not saying BBC-157 is going to be the miracle healing drug. I hear other companies out there slanging it as the Wolverine uh, potion or peptide or whatever. You're not going to like take bullets and push them out like Wolverine, all right? It's not going to happen. But it's going to help with a lot of different things that you might be struggling with for a long time period and might expedite the, the healing process there, even after surgeries. So when you get a surgery, you know, you have that healing recovery time. If you can speed that up, even better. So that's what it's all about. Good afternoon. How can I get some products? Send Kai. All you have to do is call or text us, 727-389-3220. Um, you can also go on the website, tightmedicalcenter.com, and fill out the new patient paperwork. And you can get you some of the tight medical center therapies after you do your consultation. Real simple, real easy to do, guys. Uh, Justin, what's going on? How you doing, bro? Scott, how you doing? Jay Jacobs in the house. Seen those photos from us last weekend. Amazing. Can you take a shot in your stomach fat? So you could, right? Um, depending on what you want to take though, right? So if you're talking about Titan Complete, if you're talking about Titan Complete, you're going to take usually one ML of Titan Complete. Now you could do the one ML subcutaneous in the stomach. Probably not the best place for it. Semi-glutide, that is where you're going to take the injection. 
in the stomach, in the stomach fat, right? Your 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 um, visceral fat right there, uh, your stomach. That's going to be the spot where you do it subcutaneously. All right. Uh, thank you. Big thumbs up. I'm about to start using BPC and TB for my hip flexor. Probably a good idea. I mean, it's really, really good as far as that goes. I know a lot of people, even we have a patient, Hulk Squad, who just had a hip replacement. Um, and he's been he's been using BBC 157. He's expedited his results dramatically. Hold not long in the house. What's up, bro? Hope all is well. What up? Do you need a prescription for that? So everything that we offer, guys, is prescription-based. But we provide the prescriptions. So once you fill out the new patient paperwork, you'll get a consultation with the medical provider. After that, the medical provider will go over your options. Uh, then the, the, the medical assistant will come in, go over those options with you, make sure your regimen's right on point of what you want to do. And at that point, you guys can order, and it's going to go right from the pharmacy right to your doorstep. Real simple, real easy to do. What's up, Miss Patty, the caregiver? I hope all is well. So if anybody's got any other questions, shoot them out to me, all right? Let's go on to the next one. I'm sorry I'm doing my live early today, guys. My son has a basketball game at 6 o'clock, so I couldn't do the show at my regular time, usually at 6 p.m. on Tuesdays. What about PT141? Where's the best place for that shot? Subcutaneously, you can do that. You can do an IM2 in a muscular, wherever is easiest for you on that. It's not a lot of medication you're going to be injecting. So it's not like a 1 ml syringe. So, you know, when you're talking about time complete, you're talking about filling this whole syringe, which it looks like a lot, but it's only 1 ml. On a bigger syringe, it would be like this, right? So you can take this, you know, in your shoulder, which is going to be easy. Now, with like semi glutide, it's usually like 10 units. So it's only like to here, which people are like, that little dose is going to do that much? I'm like, yes. When people get it and they remix, they, they reconstitute the medication, they're like, they all send pictures. They go, is this right? They're like, this isn't much. And yeah, a little goes a long, long way. And just don't inject a whole bunch because you're going to be, uh, you might be hurting at that point. It could make you nauseous and stuff like that, which you'll get over. It's not going to be terminal or dramatic like that. But, you know, it's just something you want to stay away from. PT-141, you can do 20, 30 units subcutaneously and you see right here so it's not that much medication so whatever is easiest for you i had a mostly torn bicep tendon and 60 years old once i started bpc 157 i was back to repping 500 raw in three weeks damn dude that's awesome especially at 60 years old too and age is only a number but as we age it's harder to recover and to repair ourselves unless everything is working out to it you got everything turned back you know so that's big man i mean BPC has helped so many patients out there with so many different injuries. It's ridiculous. From carpal tunnel, carpal tunnel on the wrist. I mean, not healing carpal tunnel, but giving uh, the effect of getting rid of the inflammation. What's up, Pete? Um, and all these different things. So it's definitely a, a game changer as far as that goes. All right. So let's do this. A male model said testosterone therapy helped him build muscle and restore energy, but he wishes he had waited longer to try. So this article is... Yeah, I want to bring it up because I don't agree with what he said. And let's get into it. So this guy's 42, 43 years old, male model. And at that point, he said that he wished he waited longer, even though his levels were low. So being low can be different for different people out there. Usually it's between 246 and 964 on LabCorp and like 300 to 1150 on um, Quest. These are the reference ranges for normal testosterone levels. So this guy went from 1,100 down to 500. That was a traumatic drop, right? So he obviously was feeling this as far as his symptoms and any, all the other things that were going on. Mental clarity. He was going to the gym, wasn't being able to put on muscle. Body wasn't responding like it usually did. So at that point, um, yeah, Antonio, you just you messed up my live on this other phone, man. Uh, uh, you, I, you didn't know, so I'll give, I'll give you a benefit of the doubt on that one. But um, so at this point, you know, when we talk about those levels decreasing from 1100 down to 500 and having a traumatic drop, this guy was, you know, he was in the dumps as far as how he felt. So he went on testosterone replacement therapy and all that, and you know, everything restored to back to where he wanted to. The only thing that affected him, and this could definitely be up for discussion as far as why it happened or should have have should it have happened is he was upset about the hair thinning and now hair thinning can affect anybody girls guys it doesn't have to be because of testosterone 
It could be from cortisol, stress levels, uh, alpecia, like all different things can affect your hair. So losing hair might not just be from testosterone or DHT. But his DHT level, I guess, ran really high. He started thinning out. Now, there's medications we talked about earlier where it's going to help you as far as your hair growth or keeping your hair so we don't have that issue. And balancing things. I bet his provider never ran a DHT blood test on him to see where his DHT was at. We can also do that just to make sure, hey, listen, everything's dialed in. Um, you know, maybe the dose is too high. Maybe the dose is too low. You know, this is something you really got to work with. So he was talking about he was going to wait till he was 50 years old. So we're talking about seven years. Now, over the course of those seven years, we know testosterone is going to drop even more. On a, on a minimum, it's 1% per year, right? And for other people, it's a lot more dramatic as far as the drop. Even talking about this guy, from 1,100 to 500 in one year, he said, that's a big, big drop. I don't know anybody that goes through that unless they've had something happen to them, right? Like a traumatic brain injury, a TBI, or um, you know, he's taking many antidepressants or um, something that's severely affecting the, the hormone levels or disrupting endocrine hormones or functions inside the body. So, you know, everything was positive except for the hair loss or thinning. He didn't even say hair loss, but it was thinning. And he'd wait seven years. But would you really want to wait seven years and feel bad for seven years? Does that make any sense? Like, you're going to you're gonna decrease quality of life. And I understand you're a male model. You want to keep your hair and all, everything like that. But, you know, what really, what's the priority? Is it feeling better day to day or is it keeping your hair? Because if it's keeping your hair, listen, you guys can take Propecia. And I guarantee it. You take five milligrams daily, you're going to keep your hair where it's at. For sure. Now, can I promise your libido is going to be there? Can I promise that you're going to be able to build lean muscle? Or you're going to feel better mentally? You know, as far as depression-wise or even clarity-wise? Probably not. Um, it's probably going to decrease along with that. So these are different things that I didn't agree about with this. And when he talked about this, he talked about how he was doing testosterone, he was doing an estrogen blocker, and then at the time, he started with ATG, and then he moved on to something else, which is probably clomiphene or something of that matter. So at that point, you know, I think it's a good article as far as letting people know, hey, listen, hormone replacement therapy has a lot of benefits to it. But if it's not done properly, you don't have the proper monitoring from a medical provider, this is where things can go sideways or south, and negative symptoms can happen. So at that point, you really want to look at these things and make sure everything is all good, right? And make sure your medical provider, and you probably won't know, hey, is my medical provider good or not? He says he's the best. He's got a lot of patients, but do you see the results, right? How long have they been around? And that's the thing with us. We've been around 10 plus years. You've seen multiple patient results, reviews. I always try to put them up there. We put them up there. Um, I don't know how many different responses as far as you guys have changed my life or you know, even fertility protocols. I don't know how many people out there have went and tried to get pregnant and had no success and came to us and we've had protocols in place that got them there, right? That got them where they wanted to be and, and be able to have a baby. And, you know, and then thank you, like, geez, you know, like, it, it's game changer. It's a life changer for sure. All right, how about lowering blood pressure such as hypertension? So lowering blood pressure is going to be maybe stress. It can be genetics. There's a lot of different things. Now, sometimes you're not going to be able to lower blood pressure by something natural. You might have to go on like lisinopril or something very, very small uh, they can do to get you by. But I would say this. It's better to go on lisinopril, like a 10 milligram dose, a very small, minute dose. It's not going to affect things, but it's going to lower your blood pressure. Because you might say, I don't care. Keep my blood pressure high. But there's so many negative effects that go along with blood pressure. And if you have high blood pressure, you're putting yourself at risk for cardiovascular problems, kidney problems, and more. So at that point, I would definitely get that in check. I'll get A1C, which is your sugar levels, your average three month sugar levels in check, your blood pressure in check. And those, those alone will, will they will make your life span longer, okay? Just by doing those two things. I posted my blood work from last year compared to this year. Same with sperm analysis. It's been a ride. Me and my wife want kids, so paying my dues. So listen, have you went through our protocols, Justin, as far as that goes? Because I can pretty much promise you, you don't have to get off testosterone replacement. That's the other myth that's out there. That's what a lot of doctors like to do. I'd like to say, all right, get off the testosterone. We're going to put you on clomiphene or clomid, either one of the two. Same family, different molecular structure. But, you know, we might put you on HCG. Um, 
but this is not going to make the big traumatic effect for you guys. If you've been on testosterone and you're getting off testosterone, I mean, if you're with Type Medical Center, you're on in COVID feed anyway. So your natural production and sperm production has not lowered. If anything, it's going to increase. But if you're with somebody else who has not had you on these things, your body is going to crash down. Now, the HCG or the enclobin feed or COVID, they're going to raise your numbers back up, but only to about halfway, let's say 500, right? And um, it might increase some sperm production. But you don't have to be on testosterone, off testosterone to increase sperm production either. You can still be on it. And that's really what I really want to be at because the sweet spot is this. Here's the trick. The trick is this. You want to shoot as many shots as you can at the basketball hoop, right? Or the arrow at the shooting range, right? The target. And you want as many arrows or as many basketballs to go at it at that one time. So volume and consistency of how many times you're doing. So if you're having intercourse more times in a day, you're giving yourself more chances to get pregnant, right? Ran ACG, HMG, and Clomid. The fertility clinic told me to drop test creatine and smoking weed. <sighs> and you had a sperm analysis after the ACG, HMG, and Clomid? And how did it look? Did anything move up? Because, I mean, I can tell you guys one guy right off the bat, game changer. You guys can ride him and talk to him. Jeff Bahar. Jeff Bahar's 53 years old now or some, something like that. Been on testosterone. 20 plus years ran it without ACG and all this stuff. He's been a part of our clinic for a while. Um, but you know, he just recently got married and this now he's got two kids now. So this is like maybe six years ago, something like that. So, you know, he just got remarried to a younger wife. She wanted a baby. He really wanted a baby because he had no family at all. So he's like no legacy, no parents, no nothing. It was really important to him. So we did everything we possibly could. And it took us probably like three or four months. And we ran the gamut. I mean, we were running sperm analysis, like maybe every two, three weeks just to see where it's at. Uh, running, obviously, testosterone levels, estrogen levels, making sure those were in check. Um, and then sperm analysis, obviously, we wanted to see where that was at. And we seen the increase of these things through time. And uh, it, was, it was a game changer. When he finally got pregnant, we were like, oh, my God, this is awesome. But you could see it in the paper, like it, black and white. Like you could see, like everything was set up like it was supposed to be. And he just did the deed. At that point, everything worked on that end. That's just one case scenario of how it was. Uh, hey, I did email. I answered all the questions. I never got a response how to buy the products. I'll look into it. Uh, San Kai Bennett, I'll look into it, okay, for you. All right. So they aren't giving me anything except what I've learned from you guys since I'm in Canada. Oh, of course. That's the problem. Okay, so you're in Canada, so we can't help you. Oh, well, if you have somebody in the United States, we can send it to them first, and then they can send it to you if that would help. Um, I could try to you know, send some different information your way, but sperm analysis is key, seeing where those things are at. And then you have to increase these doses of medications. It's not a one-size-fits-all. You might have to increase the doses of ACG or go on multiple things. That was another one we could do, too where you can run HCG or HMG and Enclomaphene together to really, really spark FSH and LH, um, follicle-stimulating hormone and luteizing hormone to help you with that problem. All right. Brother Iron Sister Steel, I'm 41 with test level of 650 and healthy. Is it still possible to go, TRT, to go on TRT? Okay, so possibly, right? Now, 650 is not in the dumps. You're going to be right over the hump of where a, a medical provider might want to prescribe somebody. But here's what I can tell you is this. Did you get your level taken in the morning? Because most people go in the morning to get their levels checked. That's what doctors say. Oh, it's the best time to go. Well, yeah, it's the best time to go. The reason why is because that's your highest level that you're going to have in the morning like that, right? But really, where you really want to take, excuse me. What you really want to do the test at is in the late afternoon, right? Because as you go through the day, your testosterone levels are going down, 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 down. So as you get home, you're feeling like in the dumps, you're real tired, just want to pass out. This is where you really want to test, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, right in there. And that's where usually people start getting really tired if they have low testosterone. Usually if you have low testosterone, and I had this for years, 
I wake up in the morning because I knew I had responsibilities. I had a job, family to take care of. So I had to go out and do what I had to do. I even worked out through this time. But <coughs> it just, it was horrible for me. But at the end of the day, I would be really, really tired and drained. So this is where I would do the test at. And I think at that point, you'll probably lower down like maybe 200 points, and that would definitely be treatable. All right. Uh, just got the results back, and all I said was my levels are normal now, which shocked which shocked the shot, uh, shit out of me. Okay. <coughs> All right. So this is what I would say. Justin, get a copy of your results. Let's see where the hell the results are at. Them telling you this is garbage. Anybody out there, whatever you're doing medically, get your results. It's your legal right to get your results. You want to have a copy of your results so you can put it in a file at home. That way, you can always look at your results and say, where was I here and where was I here? If something ever bad happens to you medically, instead of going to the doctor or going to the ER or thinking, hey, I was on this, this happened, I think this happened, I don't know the date of this or what there, you have all this in a file. You can actually show them this information, and at that point, they can help you probably out a lot better than you trying to replay everything that's happened to you in the last three, four, five, ten years, right? So always get a copy of all your results, and that way you can look at it. Big Drew of the house. Big shout out to my brother, dude. Big Drew. Uh, sorry, Drew. Been sick as hell, man. I meant to call you last night. Um, Greg, what's going on? JJ just it took my time complete. Oh, nice. Just took his time complete. My man. Uh, if you have low test levels in 300 to go on TRT, is it required to stay on TRT or can you natural or can your natural levels increase as a result of treatment? So, good question. If your levels are already low, naturally, they're already low like that, depending on your age, they're probably not going to ever come back. They're just going to get lower. And when you go on treatment, if you go on testosterone, it's going to raise those levels up when you're on it. But when you go off, it's going to lower down. Now, in clomiphene, not clomiphene, but in clomiphene, might be a way to increase those levels naturally. I know some guys that are a lot younger that we don't like to prescribe testosterone to, let's say you're 21 years old and you come to us. You're really young, dude. I mean, really young. So we always like to try a more natural approach with them, like in clomiphene and such, and try to raise those levels up. And then that might actually help. But, you know, if you're older, let's say 30s, 40s, right, uh, those levels are low, uh, you test them multiple times and uh, they just won't come up, then at that point it probably might be in your best interest to look at HRT or TRT because – you know, you don't want to keep going on with those levels getting low like that. They're going to keep getting lower and lower. They're never going to go up. There's nothing that recharges the testes. Now, you can stimulate the follicle stimulating hormone, FSH and LH, but, you know, is that medication going to permanently stimulate or have it keep going? That's up for, you know, debate. And at that point, it's really person-to-person -person scenario, all right? Brother, I and sister still, you're very welcome, bro. Anything else, let me know, all right? Uh, hi, I'm Meet Persink. PK, how are you doing? I hope all is well. Everything's good here. All right, so let's get to the last subject of the day. And this one was really crazy. Big shot, Seth Gordon. How you doing, bro? So, women gets, listen to this, $5.2 million settlement from contracting HPV in her partner's vehicle. And the partner didn't get sued. Geico, the insurance company, got sued, and she won the lawsuit. She's getting $5.2 million, okay, for contracting HPV in some guy's car. And was it from the guy? Was it from the seat? I don't know. But at that point, I would think it would be the liability of the, the person, the driver, or the partner, right? Because how can you really prove that HPV came off a seat? It probably came from the guy, and at that point, it'd be like anything else. If you give herpes to somebody, if you give HIV to somebody or any other STD like that, and they can prove it, you're liable, right? You've done this intentionally, and there's been basketball players and professional athletes that have done this intentionally to people, and they've also lost lawsuits. But to have a car insurance company like Geico have to pay $5.2 million, you are swinging open the barn doors, right? for lawsuits to come out of the woodworks for something like this. It's really ridiculous, I think, for the amount of money. I think it's ridiculous. I mean, you know, some of the, the, the pushbacks from the council, because 
you know, it's not life threatening, right? But, but the council said, well, she can get cervical cancer, and that could be terminal. So at that point, we need to look into this. Her, her life is going to be changed forever. Um, she might not be able to have new sexual partners uh, without being, you know, the, the emotional stress and all this stuff. And like, I, I, listen, I totally understand, but then I have to ask myself, hey, you know, why did you use protection? Because I guess there was no protection used when I read this article earlier. I, I commented about this article, and it had to be about a year, year and a half ago, when it came to, 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 to light. And then this finally got the judgment. And it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I want to follow up on this one. Ant one, what's going on? I hope all is well. Captain Chaos, what's going on? So that was pretty crazy. So this Saturday, guys, we have the Art and Fashion Show, Site Medical Center, Jason Skelton's Art and Fashion Show. So we'll be there in full production. Uh, I had a conversation with him earlier. He was worried about us. I outshined him. I couldn't believe it. I felt uh, I felt a little insecurities from Jason. I love the death, though. I give him a big hug. He's okay. Uh, all right. So here's the poll question. It was a really good poll question, too. Have you ever tried injectable vitamins and amino acids? So 29% no. Do they really work? And are they better than oral versions? Yes, they are definitely very better than oral versions in two main ways. Transportation rate and absorbency. Third rate, you're not getting fillers. You're not having to drink garbage all day, bloated, and all this good stuff. But two main ones, transportation rate and absorbency. No, but I've tried over-the-counter oral supplements, 24%. Well, that's nothing like injectable for sure. 33% said, yes, I use Titan injectables. This is awesome. 14% no, but do I really need them? And yes, I mean, you can utilize it for so many different things. I guarantee everybody out there is not getting their nutrition or things that they need at optimal levels daily. So that's really where these things come into play. It's very simple, easy to do. It's very uh, effective, right, as far as absorbency, transportation rate, and very easy to do. And it's virtually painless. So like we were talking about Titan Complete today with Mick. B complex, B12, branched chain amino acids, and uncarantine, all in one little injectable with a little insulin needle. That is going to be definitely the way to go. So, I think we got some more events after this. We've got 1022 Hurricane Pro, Festival of Speed on 11 6 at Ritz Carlton, Orlando. And we have 12 3 Cars and Court Tour, 12 15 to 12 18 Las Vegas for Olympia. It's going to be action packed the next couple of months. I can't believe how fast this year has went. 2024 is going to be here in, what, three months, four months? Crazy, guys, crazy. So we're going to be bringing in a new year with new therapies, new goals, and new uh, new contests coming out. We already did the six months HRT free or supplements or excuse me, six months of therapies for free. We might be incorporating that one again and might be doing some other ones. So stay tuned for that as well. Little Edge, what's going on? Hope all is well. So, guys, if you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to get ready for my son's basketball game, eighth grade basketball game, which is really crazy, too. You know, I played basketball for my school teams. And as we were growing up, right, basketball jerseys used to be basketball jerseys, right? Like a jersey, like a regular basketball jersey you would think of, right? These guys are playing in T-shirts for the school. Like, this isn't like a rec league or anything like that. So, it's just really, really crazy when I see this. And, all Hillsborough County is like that, which is really crazy. It just it's a lot different than when I when we when I grew up or when some of you guys grew up. Uh, it's just crazy. Little Ed says I have a torn pectoral muscle. So BPC one five seven TB five hundred for that for sure. That should definitely help out a lot. No blood works needed for Titan Complete or these healing peptides that we're talking about. Um, the only thing that's needed is you to fill out the new patient paperwork and uh, you know see the medical provider. And you can do that anywhere in the country. Just like I'm doing with you guys, you can do it with them on your phone, in your car, not driving, at your office, in your lunch break, you know, wherever you can, outside maybe, get a beautiful view. So those, those would be the best ways to do it. Uh, what you got for healing? So BPC-157 and TB-500, Little Edge, those are going to be the game changers for your healing your pectoral muscle for sure, 100%. So I think that's it, guys. If you guys have not responded or uh, subscribe to our newsletter. All you have to do is text the number 22828 and text it to Titan Medical. And at that point, you guys will be able to uh, get on our newsletter, see all the poll questions, get involved with the interactive poll, and get it done. Getting blood work done this week. All right, cool. Little you don't need the blood work for these therapies, but if you're getting the blood work, that's even better because you can see what's going on inside. Vitor, what's going on? I hope all is well. Palmetto X four times. Bass, how you doing? 
And uh, I think that's it, guys. So I appreciate all you guys joining in. I know I feel or I sound pretty bad, uh, really congested. So at that point, I love you guys. I'm taking my glutathione, my triimmune. Uh, hopefully going to get over this in the next day or two, and uh, I'll be back in the office rocking and rolling. I'm always here for you guys. So if you have any questions, call or text us, 727-389-3220. You guys can always check out the website for all of our awesome therapies that we offer at TypeMedicalCenter.com. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys next Tuesday with me at a regular schedule time, I believe, uh, at 6 p.m. I don't think I have a game, or maybe I do. We might be going early again next week, too, guys. You guys might, you guys like these early shows, these 4.30 shows? Let me know. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next week on Titan Talk Tuesday with me, John, CEO of Titan Medical Center. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you later.